Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Laurie, and I am here to do your general reading for you. Let's go ahead and clear out any negative energies here. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Woo! Got a lot of cards with good energy here. I feel very positive energies this morning. Let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. You've rolled Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, and Libra. Whoop, whoop. There you are. I see it. Whoops. I'm turned on the house. <laughs> Need to move that over just a touch, too. There we go. All right. And I've got my gemstones here with the crystal ball in the middle. Actually, that's a um, selenite crystal ball. I believe it's a selenite. No, it's a clear quartz. Sorry, clear quartz. All right, let's go ahead and see what energy you have overall for your reading. King of Pentacles. I'm getting financial stability. Huh. Let's see what else we've got going on here. Whoop, whoop. I felt it coming. Tower moment. All right. Not bad. It's not a negative. It's definitely not a negative. Let's move on. The Hierophant. The Page of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The High Priestess. So you have the High Pri the Hierophant, the High Priest. And the High Priestess here in your reading. You've also got the Nine of Wands. So from eight to nine, right next to each other. And then the Two of Cups. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. What is happening for you guys? Can, is there glare on those? Nope, looks good. Okay, before you came in to hear this message, you had the Six of Cups. Oh, boy, and Temperance. Oh, and you took a leap of faith on something. Good. All right. Okay. And look, you've got the star card right behind the fool. King of Cups. Something emotionally satisfying. Ooh, you had a really good day. Or however long this was. Okay. So you had some sort of balance restored to your life. Something good. Oh, if you, this may be about that argument with a friend or somebody else. Um, straightened out. It is straightened out. Everything is good. Everything's stable again. Life is feeling right. You're confident. This could be about money. So um, you're in a good place at the moment, okay? What's coming in here for you? You do have a tower moment, but it looks like you've created this yourself. Okay, you've chosen to see something for what it is and let something go, let let a tower fall. In other words, something that you built, something you created, something you put effort into. You created it, you get to let it go, you get to, to destroy it, you get to um, let it crumble, fall apart. I'm getting demolition, like... Did you build a house and now you're getting to demo it so you can build something better for yourself? Because anytime there's um, a tower, an ending, a death, something has to come in and fill that void. Some sort of good energy has to come in and fill that void. It's always something better than what was there. I mean, that's why we have tower moments, okay? We realize this isn't good enough anymore. This doesn't serve us anymore. This house is not big enough. Um Whatever it is, okay, you've chosen to let it go because you built it, you created it, you get to do what you want with it. It could be a belief system too, okay? It can be anything. But I am hearing here, uh, I keep getting an image of a house that you're demoing, but I'm also seeing other things that are being demoed. Trees are coming down. Um it just feels like you're, you are consciously making a decision and you have the money here to tear something down and build something bigger and better. All right. So take that as it resonates. That could be any type of situation, but I am getting a physical one right now. And I did just hear from spirit 
It could be a building that you're doing business from. It could be a house you're living in. I'm, I'm really, spirits really tell me that today this is focusing on um, houses, houses, um, places where things are done with other people, creative energies, um, combined energies, community energies. It is for everybody's um, improvement. There is improvement here. There's also a, a sense of satisfaction, of peace, of happiness. Again, with a hair font here, I am hearing elevation. It's, it's coming better than what it was. Whatever you're letting go of is going to be, um, whatever's coming in is going to be better than what you're letting go of. You've got the page of pentacles here, and I'm getting flipping of the coin. Okay, this person is flipping a coin here to decide which way to go. I mean, they've got a map in front of them, and it looks like things are wide open for you. I just got that somebody may be playing around with money. Somebody's playing around with money. I'm, I'm getting this from, I'm hearing spirits saying, pay attention to the cat in the background playing around with this money. This is your money bag. You've taken a coin out of it to flip it, take a chance on something here, decide a decision. But what happened was, is it looks like you dropped your, your coin purse and you don't know it. Now your cat is your intuition. So maybe you do. Maybe you've got a gut feeling that there's something back here happening that you, you might want to pay attention to, okay? Because this could affect your future. There's a tower back here. So this tells me you've let that go and this, this tower is where you're headed, okay? I wish I could see what that says. It may not say anything at all, actually. Let me grab my... Crab. What does that say? Kokomo. <laughs> no, it actually is just a bunch of, of lines that looks like it could say Kokokta. Kohakta. It, it is not meant to actually say anything, I don't think. Um, but it looks like K. K-O-H. Like O-R-T-A. There might be a couple of other letters in there, a couple of other lines. If that means anything to you, take it. If it doesn't, let it go. Uh, I do see, though, I am hearing from most of you, if somebody is playing around with your money, this is um, a risk that you're taking here. A gamble, something that you're like tossing the coin on. It, it will affect your future, okay? Uh, I can't pick up whether it's good or bad yet. I'm not hearing either negative or positive. I just feel like it's going to affect your future income, your future abundance, happiness, wealth, that kind of thing. Next, you have the Eight of Wands over the High Priestess. So instead of keeping your silence about something, I hear that you want to keep your silence about some something going on, but you're worried that other people are going to hear and get involved with this particular Eight of Wands. It's almost like you feel a storm brewing here. So this feels more like gossip, talk behind the back, um, people putting their two cents in where you really don't want it. Spirit is saying, trust your intuition here. Look, you've got your cat playing with, these are your ruins, okay? Mm. With the ruins of your tower here. So there's something, I almost feel like this cat is protecting this too. Okay, like he's got, when you put something on your hand on top of something, it's like you're protecting it. Very intently looking at the ruins of your tower here. And I'm hearing you're, you're consulting your higher power, you're trusting your intuition, you're seeking guidance. Look at the knowledge that you have in the books behind you. Hmm. Definitely seeking information here. And uh, I'm hearing like you're in a whirlwind, like things are happening very quickly here, affecting your future very, very quickly. 
a lot of talk going around. Now, it could be gossip, but I'm also hearing you're talking with people, getting information, getting, uh, doing research. You're feeling a little battered right here. You're feeling like, whoa. Okay, so we what we have here is all these wands up in the air. And now those wands are down. You've, you've taken control of this, okay? You trusted your intuition. You stepped back and you said, okay, I, I've got the information I need. I'm going to leave it up to you to take care of here. And, yeah, you're still feeling a little battered. I'm also hearing, look at this, you took your cloak and your hat off. So you're down to the bare bones is what I'm hearing. The basics. Back to the basics. Your cat has changed colors. Okay? <laughs> I mean, your cat's now a calico. So I'm hearing, and your cat was a black cat here. So is this your cat? Is this even your cat? Is that someone else's cat watching over you? Is that somebody else's intuition, guardian angel? I feel like you're not alone here. Okay, you may feel really beat up and battered by all this talk, all this chatter, all this gossip, all this whatever's going on. But I feel like somebody's got your back and the, the worst is over. I'm also hearing the smoking gun, like the evidence that will clear you is right there for people to see. And then you move into this Two of Cups, which tells me that is exactly what's going to happen here. Okay? All these smoking guns, all these things, all the evidence that you did not do whatever here, that you were taking care of yourself, your own house, your own home, your own business, your own whatever here. Yeah, something's going on here. It, it got brushed over. And I think it's be, Spirit's telling me because it's going to be different for everybody. So it starts back here with this, um, your money bag, okay? It does end well. Don't get too stressed here. You've got the Two of Cups. Everything comes out in the open in the end here, and we will clarify. But something happens back here concerning your money. You're unaware. You are like not consciously aware of something that's affecting your money, okay? And you're taking a chance here, which is a great way to be, you know, go forward. You deal with what happens, you know, I'm getting, um, let the chips fall where they may. You'll deal with that when you get there. You can't deal with that here. You can't make a decision here based on this. Otherwise, you wouldn't ever go forward, okay? But it will affect you in the future. You're... Instead of sitting back waiting, you may be uh, pushing forward, forging ahead, okay? Because this, this person here is definitely actively doing something for their future. All right, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Let's see what we can get with this. What more information from Spirit we can get concerning your uh, situation here. Oh my gosh, the fool is on the bottom of the deck. The Strength card and the Four of Cups came out in the reverse. So you're tired of sitting still. You're tired of something the way it was. You don't want it to be that way anymore, okay? And you're standing up. You're owning your own um, courage. You're being brave. You're facing your challenges. You've, just, you've made a decision what you're going to do. You're going to put your hand in the lion's mouth here to pull that bad tooth. To help that lion out, whoever that lion is. Is this your personal Leo? We do have Leo energy on the uh, Zodiac die there. But this is about you finding the strength within yourself to make the changes that need to be made. Let the past go. This That's what's coming through here. You can't elevate if you stay in the same place. You have to take a chance. Look, and now you got the mag magician with the fool and the three of cups and the star card. So there is, I mean, there's some really good energies here. I'm getting elevation, moving above um, status elevation in life. So some of you have been manifesting 
And this is what's going on here. You're no longer willing to sit back and just let things be. You're ready to take charge. And, and that does not mean you have to force things. It just means that you're ready to pull together the resources, the information, the inspiration, all of it. Okay, let's look at the Hierophant here. Yes, let's look at the Hierophant. Clarification of the Hierophant energy, please. By the way, I got up this morning and I tried to open up the comments to respond to them, and I can't do that. The only thing I was able to do was go into a different place on my uh, YouTube studio and give each of you a heart, okay? So just so you know, if you're new to tarot or YouTube or whatever, the only person who can give you a heart on your comment is the creator of that channel. So me, I'm the creator of this channel. So if you receive a heart, that means I read your comment and I approve of it and I like what you said. Unfortunately, I cannot comment today. It keeps telling me something went wrong, retry. So I did go through, I was able to go through, I gave everybody a heart that I saw your comment. Now I do know that I miss some comments because they're held for review. Um, because of potentially negative comments or dangerous or advertising on my channel. That's a big no-no, by the way. If you do not know this, you do not put a link to your channel on anybody else's channel. Please don't do that. It's not allowed by YouTube, and it's offensive to the creator of this channel. If you ask permission, that's one thing, but just to drop your channel name on somebody else's channel is not allowed. Okay, you should not do that. And it will get held by YouTube, usually. Okay, anyways. Let's see what the Hierophant energy has here for you. There we go. Seven of Swords, clarif or strategizing, clarifying something here. The Okay, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. That's double seven. Something good is coming your way. And it looks like self-love, self-support. And then the chariot, oh my gosh, seven of swords, seven of cups, knight of cups, and the chariot clarifying the Hier Hierophant energy. This is pretty big, peeps. This is really, really big. This is you planning, strategizing how, what to do. You've already had this, but you're communicating directly with your higher power. See those two swords behind you? Okay. Keeping other people out of this as much as possible. I am hearing you're about to get tripped up by somebody or something, though. Because you're looking into the future and you haven't, you're, you've forgotten something here. Let's see. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of opportunities in front of you. Need to focus on yourself and taking care of yourself. And look at this. This is yoga. This is taking care of yourself. And the Hierophant's saying the same thing. Find a place to meditate. A, time, a place to slow down, breathe, think things through gently. Okay, you're not, you're not trying to force yourself into an answer or a solution. You're trying to relax so that you can receive the information, the inspiration. Something really good is coming your way, though. I do see a lot of opportunities coming your way. And this may be what's heading here with this uh, page of pentacles. Because your life's about to change direction. Oh, oh, look who's still hanging out here. This is about your desires. This could be about you moving away from any toxic situations, any negative beliefs. Yeah, some of you could be moving away from really bad um, situations here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Page of Pentacles is. Whatever it was that you've, whatever that tower was, if it was a building, if it was a house, whatever it was, it wasn't enough. It wasn't good. It was keeping you held back from expanding, okay? That's what the devil energy does. It can either be your desires, it can represent your desires, or it can be something that holds you back, keeps you trapped. You feel like you've got chains on you, Um those chains are all in your head all the time. You can break those chains anytime. You just have to change how you think, how you feel, how you present yourself to the world, what you expect from the world. Here's something for you that I, I was reminded of by Spirit in the middle of the night. Thank you, Spirit. 
what you expect from other people is exactly what you're going to get. So if you're about to, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you expect them to cheat on you, guess what? They're going to cheat on you. If you expect somebody to be lazy, they're going to be, they're going to appear lazy, okay? So if you expect wonderful and great things from yourself and other people, that's what you're going to see in them. So that was important because Spirit gave that to me, and I mean literally in the middle of the night. Boy, look at that. The Sun card coming out to clarify the Page of Pentacles. A beautiful offer is here for you. Something that is going to be very emotionally satisfying. I'm hearing if there was something here that may have tripped you up, you're about to see it, okay? Because when the noonday sun comes out, there's no shadows, there's nothing to trip over, there's nothing to fear, there's nothing hidden, okay? And that's beautiful. So whatever direction you choose to go here with this offer, because I do feel that there is an offer here. Somebody's going to make you an offer of travel, moving, um, elevating, uh, oh, what do you call it? Promotions. Again, I'm also hearing something about make your money grow too. So just if you're going to take a chance, make sure you have as much information as you need to know how. You know what I'm hearing from this? This whole thing here is, this is worry over what's happening with your money. And the reason you're worried for some of you, is because you don't know how it works, okay? So maybe you've decided to invest in something like crypto and you really don't know how it works. So you go and you're thinking, oh, your future, look at this, I'm creating this big, beautiful future. And then all of a sudden you go check your bank account and you're like, I don't understand this. What does this mean? It looks chaotic. I, I mean, it just, what, 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 okay? But if you just step back, and say, you know what? The one thing I know about crypto is that it it may change overnight. But if I just let things sit and let it roll, it's probably going to bounce back. Okay? Nothing is down forever. Everything has to come back up. So I'm, what I'm hearing here is it's, and it doesn't have to have anything to do with crypto or anything else. It just means that you didn't have enough information to keep your peace while you go through this um, situation and you feel a little beat up and battered, but the outcome is beautiful with the two of cups. Okay. So everything levels out. Everything's good. The, a new day is dawning. So that's all this is. That's for most of you. That's what it is. Not having the correct information to keep you calm as you go through this. And I'm hearing if you just talk to somebody and ask their advice, you will have the answers that you're seeking. And emotional satisfaction. I am hearing this is going to be very good for you. Whatever flipping of the coin you're doing there, whatever risk you're about to take, as long as you, <clears throat> you can get ahead of this, okay? You can get ahead of it if you consult somebody before you invest, if it's an investment. if it, Okay, it's, it's definitely an investment. It can be an investment in money. It can be an investment in a person. So a clarification of what's happening. Asking questions. If you're about to get involved with somebody, move. okay, say you're going to move in with somebody. Okay. Are you going to ask them, can you pay your portion? What are you going to pitch in? Um, am I expected to carry all the financial burdens? You know, you're going to have that conversation ahead of that situation. If you do that, then you don't get this kind of energy. If you don't do that, then as the time goes by, you're going to be like, oh, well, I don't understand. Why aren't they doing what they're supposed to be doing? Why am I the only one doing everything here? Why am I feeling so beat up and bruised and battered? Okay, so do a little bit of conversation here. Bring things out into the open, into daylight, to where they can be seen. And then you, you'll have nothing to fear in the future. All right, let's look at the Three of Wands here. Interesting reading. Definitely different than what has usually been going on here. Three of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to tickle tap or boop. B-O-O-P that like button. 
And of course, claim this message in the comments if it is yours. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We have an awesome community and we would love to have you join us. Look at you. King of Pentacle, Pentacles clarifying the Three of Wands. Okay, so this tells me you are working on something to do with your future stability, money, um, feeling secure, feeling confident. Feeling like you can enjoy life and the finer things within life. Definite stability here. All right. And now we've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. She's looking back at something here. I mean, yes, I'm hearing, is it worth the heartache? Is what I'm hearing. Is it worth this kind of energy? Well, if you don't have to go through that energy, then, uh, yeah. See, if you think about pulling together all of your resources, getting the answers that you need. Are, answers are a resource. Asking questions is a resource. Consulting other people is a resource. Networking with other people. Those are all resources, okay? Consulting your, your higher power. Sitting back and letting the inspiration come to you. That's a resource. And look, you're doing that here with a star card, healing, hope for the future. You're getting the answers that you need. You're feeling vulnerable, but you're feeling confident that there is a bright tomorrow coming. Beautiful energy here. Love this. All right. And by the way, I do want to say, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you have found something that is resonating with you or that you do before the end of the message. Also, so if you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. You know I love you to pieces. Either way, I want to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you for spending time here with me. You guys are awesome. And everyone is always welcome here. Oh my gosh, I was about to split the deck. Oh, Spirit wants me to split the deck and uh, shuffle it. So, Spirit wants you to know that everyone is welcome here, Okay. The only thing I ask is you be respectful to me and to other members of this channel, okay? I don't care if you're hurting. We're all hurting from time to time. You've got to be kind. And if you can't be, then keep it to yourself, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and see what the Eight of Wands has in, st in store for you. What is this? Is this an actual storm or is this something that you can calm? Oh, look at that. Two of Cups twice in the same reading see this is what spirit was saying if you get ahead of this if you're aware of it ahead of time that's what tarot is for that's why we consult tarot to give us guidance okay so get the information that you need bring yourself into alignment understanding okay conversing with somebody that can give you the answers that you need not relying solely on yourself especially if it's something you've never done before if you're going into a place you've never been before, okay, into an experience you've never, you've got no knowledge of, consulting somebody who's an expert in that field would be a really good idea. It will definitely make you feel really good, okay? And I'm seeing the High Priestess here again. You've got the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess on the split of the deck here, bottom of the deck in the split. And what I'm hearing is... Uh, the Two of Cups clarifying that Eight of Wands is you can calm all of it. You can fix it. This has got the healing aspect to it. You can bring yourself in alignment. And it, alignment simply means an understanding of what you're feeling and what you're thinking. Okay? That's one form of alignment. What you're thinking and what you're feeling jive. You're not feeling sick to your stomach. When you feel nervous, angry, upset, any of those negative emotions, it means you're not in alignment with your higher power. You're not acknowledging something, okay? You're resisting something. And as soon as you acknowledge it, all of a sudden those feelings go away because you've got the understanding. Ah, okay. And that brings in healing. It brings in peace. It brings in a sense of calm. And when we're calm, what happens? That's when beautiful, bright ideas come in. So there's healing, communion, alignment, going with the flow, trusting your higher power, not stressing. When we stress, we're trying to force something, okay? 
Absolutely. All right. So you've got the high priestess here. Let's go ahead and clarify the high priestess that, that is here. Please, spirit. All right. The high priestess clarification, please. Ooh, and no, that's not a reversal. Um, ten, of, ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles clarifying the High Priestess. You know it in your gut once you get yourself straight that everything is going to turn out exactly as it's supposed to. Your money is going to increase if you're investing money. Whatever you're building, whatever you took down, here's proof that something better is taking its place with this Ten of Pentacles, okay? So by surrendering control of the situation up to your higher power, to the universe, to God, whoever you want to surrender it to, that's when this starts building and building and building and building and growing and expanding. See, you have to take that step back. You have to let go of control. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, let's see what's happening here with the Nine of Wands. And of course, each situation here is going to be different for all of you. These are general readings. I have a lot of you tell me every day how much it resonates with you and it feels like a personal reading, and I understand that completely. Spirit reaches those that the message is meant for, okay? So I'm happy that the messages are reaching those that need to hear it or need the guidance i know i hear i get i gain benefit from these messages okay i do too if you can't oh. clarifying the nine of wands we've got the page of cups which did show itself on the bottom of the deck and spirit said not right now so here it is now so the page of wands the three of pentacles the hanged man and now you've got the uh, three of wands for the second time here Trusting your subconscious, your higher power, okay, that everything will work out. Seeing things from a different perspective and then just knowing that it's going to come to you in the future is the energy that Spirit wants you to be in. Look, at the end of that is the Nine of Cups. Happiness, wish come true, celebrations, okay? Okay. That's 11 cups here. Nine plus the two that are in the two of cups card. That's you being in alignment with yourself, with your higher power, with the people around you. And a brand new start here. All right. So, you know, what I'm hearing here is that with some of this uh, energy, confusion, not really knowing what's going on, if you're building something for the first time, like a new house, you may not have the answers, but if you seek advice that you trust, okay, before you get into the situation, you can be in alignment before the storm, okay? Get ahead of the storm. It's easier. It's easier to deal with something when we have, um, when we're prepared. What do they say? The Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, be prepared, okay? And why do they say that? So that when something comes up, you know exactly how to deal with it. And that's what I'm feeling here. So if this is about building a new house, a new business, and you have no knowledge, please seek uh, counsel. Ask somebody for advice, okay? If it's about investing money, ask for advice. How does this work? What can I expect? You know, if out of you, if you're moving in with me, if you're investing money, how does this work? Do I check my cryptocurrency bank account every day? Do I, you know, and you'll find out, no. You'll let it ride for six months or something. But anyways, if this is about a person moving in, talking to them, getting all the what ifs up front, okay? I mean, you shouldn't just take a chance on your life being perfect. You got to have some idea of where you're heading. And people don't like to talk to each other. They like to talk about each other. We got to break that. We got to start talking to each other, communicating, okay? Asking those tough questions before you go too far into a relationship and then find out you just spent five years and you're nothing alike. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the Two of Cups. 
Let's take a look at the Two of Cups. <clears throat> Got a book again. All right, so Seven of Pentacles. Another seven, lucky seven coming your way. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Moon, there you are, Libra's Justice, in your own reading again, and closing this out with the Two of Swords. I'm hearing you will take stock. You're going to take stock after. You're going to reassess. Everything's coming together, okay? You got the happiness, the joy, the bliss with the Two of Cups. You've got that alignment going on. What is happening here? You're sitting back. You're talking with your higher power or your person. I do feel like a queen of wands person is coming in here for you, male or female. They're going to be unique, charismatic, fun. This could definitely be a new romantic partner, a new friend. And I'm hearing that's yet to be determined, okay, with this moon. It's going to be up to you and what you decide you want to do once you get the answers that you you need. So through conversation, don't ignore any red flags. Make sure you're seeking and getting the answers because I feel like this person is going to really tickle your fancy. But there's going to be a lot of things that are hidden here with this moon card, okay? Yet to be determined, because there's a lot of things going on that you don't have answers to. You, you're, you don't have the answers, okay? And as much as you trust your higher power, which comes through here with the Two of Swords, this is not the time to ignore any red flags, okay? Make sure you are tuning into your higher power. <clears throat> I'm hearing some of you need to hold back. <clears throat> Listen to my throat. You hear that? Somebody does not want to hear this or does not want to have me speak this. All right, so a word of caution. You will be contemplating a new relationship with somebody who is very outgoing, fun, um, charismatic. Again, please make sure that you are doing what's good for you. Make sure you're not ignoring any red flags there. Okay, we are going to... What are we going to do next, Spirit? We are going to get you an oracle message here. Oh, dreamscape. I'm going to get you a dreamscape oracle message. I just heard somebody wants a spirit animal message. All right, thank you. We've got the white owl. Huh. Excuse me. Oh, that cough didn't sound good, did it? That sounding cough sounded like when I used to smoke and I would get bronchitis. That is not good. I, I don't smoke. Not anymore. I've been quit for, I don't even know. I quit counting after around seven years. White Owl. The White Owl has been a recurring symbol spanning thousands of years. Their white collar is often associated with purity and youthfulness. So, having fun, playing around, taking a chance. The white owl embodies all species of the owl's traits when it comes to tarot readings, knowledge, wisdom, and exceptional insight. They have extraordinary long-range vision for hunting prey. This ability to see through distance and time gives the reader a clear insight into what actions are needed when a message is delivered. So I told you, I've been saying right here, do not ignore the red flags, okay? In the Dreamscape Oracle, which is this deck of cards here, owls are messengers who carry critical communication in and out of the portals. The meaning of this card is to... tie it. To, oh my gosh, it's time to undertake a new spiritual pursuit. Ponder the cycle of life and death, of letting things go and how new things come in. Changing who you are, changing, are, oh, you know what I'm hearing with this relationship? This, You may be drawn to this type of person, okay? 
But every relationship ends the same. Please trust that you will need to change something you have changed. You don't want to go in blindly here. Pay attention to those red flags. Okay. Yeah, this will, you're definitely trusting your intuition more. You're seeing the reality of your, your um, uh, relationship to relationships. Okay, we're leaving that there. And now Spirit wants to give you an L key. Yes, I'm hearing yes. We've got a spirit animal here. The wise owl. Be wise. Trust your intuition. Think clearly. Be honest with yourself. The white. The purity. Okay? Being honest with yourself. The truth. We have Isra. She who dreams. Escape. Dreams and fantasy. There's some sort of healing here. All right, so the message brought by Isra is to honor your dreams. They allow you a sanctuary where you can occasionally disappear and give your doubts and worries a much-needed break. Let your soul be soothed by impractical fantasies and foolish notions every day. When you acknowledge the power of the mental escape, you can begin to see which of your fears are real and which are unfounded. You will also learn which of your fantasies are closer to reality than you actually thought. This insight is the gift of she who dreams. Wow. Okay, so your desires, your dreams, what is it you're trying to end so that you can improve? Do you have desires and dreams that, and see, that's what I'm hearing. You have to learn for yourself what path to follow. What do your desires mean for you? All right. Spirit animal. Yes, I'm getting to it. Yes. Somebody's very impatient this morning. Take a deep breath. Hold it and let it out slowly. Got a whole slew of them, so we're not taking any of them. Slow down here. Somebody... Okay, wake up, listen, slow down, breathe. And see, there was a horn, just beep twice. Yes, you, is what that horn said. Peacock, vibrancy, you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy from others, okay? Be grateful for the life that you have and more good things will come to you. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance, that you can see the red flags, that you can heal, that you can move forward and do exactly what you want to do. Vibrancy. All right, let's see what else is here. Thank you. I do appreciate you taking that deep breath. Much calmer energy. And there we go. Lion, higher calling. You have within you everything and all of the courage that you need. So please just let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those who are by your side. Make noble choices for your life and for your tribe. Beautiful energy there. Beautiful. Confidence. Calm. These guys don't run around with their tails cut off. Uh-uh. I've never seen... A lion and all the videos, all the Jack Hanna things I've watched, all the all of the Mutual of Omaha shows. I've never seen a lion out of control. Okay? I've seen a lion get attacked by the animal it's trying to take down, but even so that lion is like, uh uh, no, nope, I know exactly what I gotta do. There's a peace, there's a calm, there's a trust in their higher power. All right, in their confidence. Wonderful message there for you guys. We're going to roll the number die. One through five is a yes. One through five is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes answer. Feel free to reverse those rolls if you want to because we all have free will and you may do so if you so choose. If you do not know what I'm talking about right now, I'm about to roll this dice three times. I'm um, This die three times. 
to get a yes or no answer for you. If you do not have your questions ready, please feel free to pause this message and start it back up when you have your questions ready. And I'm only doing this during this long form reading, so don't look in the other messages for this anymore. And sometimes Spirit does not want this done. Okay, so if I don't do it in the reading, that's why. Answer number one, yes or no, is a 12. That's an absolute yes. Woo, 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 yes. Nine, seven, eight, three. Thing, you are working with somebody else. And if you're not, you will be consulting somebody soon. Answer number two is a seven. That is a yes answer. Three, two, one. Again, I'm getting a countdown feeling. I got that with the answer number one, too. Answer number three is a four. That is a no answer. There's too, mu too many burdens. One you're about to see and put down, but the other one is way out of balance, way out of whack. You're carrying all the weight, okay? It will come into balance eventually, yes. And then when it does, you're going to get a 12, which is free and clear. But this is going to take time. I'm hearing seven weeks to seven months. So whatever that question is, I hope that helped. All right, if you're interested in a personal reading from me, go ahead and email me requesting information. I will send you prices, how it works, when I can get to your reading. Um, yeah, and until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.